cost and management accounting L5. Uh, and we're going to look at the question of June 2025. Uh, this, that is uh, a question uh, on the calculation of overhead application rates. So um, in terms of uh, the question, it reads that the cost and management accounted of 10 producers estimated the following cost for the year 2023. So we are given a list of balances that we have. And then on the required part, our uh, first part is saying calculate the overhead application rate using direct labor costs as basis. Uh, which is four marks, and then you calculate the overhead application rate uh, using direct labor hours as basis. And then uh, next, you have to calculate the overhead application rate uh, using budgeted units as basis. The last part, calculate the overhead application rate using prime cost as basis. So uh, these are the questions that we have. So in terms of uh, the first part, uh, you calculate the over, overhead application rate using direct labor cost as basis. So first of all, we are going to put our formula down. Uh, before we start to answer the question. So it means uh, on four points, uh, on the first part, which is 4.1.1, uh, of course, uh, by using uh, the uh, direct labor cost as basis, our formula is equal to, uh, we are going to say the budgeted production overheads will be the enumerator. Our budgeted uh, production. Uh, budgeted production over years, and then uh, that is going to be our numerator, and then our denominator is going to be budgeted uh, direct labor cost. So, having done that now, we are supposed to multiply by, uh, we multiply by 100 over 1. So on the first part, remember we are we are calculating the overhead application rate using direct labor cost as basis. So the one that you are going to use as basis it will be the denominator as indicated. So you'd see that it will be direct labor cost uh, that is being the basis becomes the denominator. So the denominator is always budgeted production overheads. So in this case, we want to have the hundred over one. So in terms of budgeted production overheads, are uh, in the question uh, we are given it as um, four million. 260,000. So uh, we have it as 4 million 260,000. So this is going to be our numerator. So we are saying go to 4 million 260,000. And uh, with that, we say over the budgeted direct labor cost. So budgeted direct labor cost, uh, if you check here, you see that uh, uh, budgeted direct labor cost, uh, we are given it as. 152 runs per unit, of which we have got 37,000 uh, units. So we are supposed to multiply 37,000 times 152. So we take that as our denominator, as we are saying 37,000 times uh, 152. So it becomes our denominator. So um, you see that uh, now uh, we are also supposed to multiply by 100 over 1, which means we're going to express it as a percentage. So uh, in that case, uh, you get your answer is 75.7%. Uh, so uh, this is uh, the answer that you are going to get uh, as, a calculate, as we calculate that figure. So with that now, uh, we can see that uh, we can round it off to the nearest uh, uh, one number, which will give us 76%. If we round it off to the nearest one number. So this is uh, what we have in terms of uh, the first part. So going to the second part, 4.1.2, it says couple the overhead application rate using direct labor hours as basis. So you'd see that the uh, numerator is not going to change as uh, 4 million two hundred sixty thousand. So um, uh, all the same, we are going to also have uh, the formula S uh, numerator being the same, whereby we are going to say uh, using direct labor hours as basis. So it means our direct labor hours are going to be the denominator. So uh, we have 4.1.2, whereby it's saying it is equal to budgeted, uh, budgeted production overheads.
uh, is our numerator, and then we divide uh, by the denominator according to the question. Uh, it requires us to make uh, the direct labor hours as basis. So it means our denominator is going to be uh, budgeted direct labor hours, budgeted uh, labor hours. So in this case, we are going to not be able to express it as a percentage. So in that case now, we check, remember, we said uh, the budgeted production over is what change. We have it as our 4,260,000. So we have 4,260,000. Then budgeted direct labor hours, uh, we check according to the question. You see that uh, the labor hours, uh, we are giving them as five hours uh, per unit, of which we have got 37,000 uh, units. So to get total hours, we are going to say 37,000 times five is our denominator. So uh, this is uh, what we put that part. And then uh, further on, you'd see that the answer that you are going to get becomes 23 rands. Then we we'll go to 4.1.3, which now requires us to calculate the overhead application rate using budgeted units as basis. So budgeted units were given as 37,000. So it means this is going to be our denominator. The numerator remains 4,260,000. So uh, we calculate as that. So uh, we are now saying 4.1.3. whereby our numerator uh, becomes the same, which is 4 million, 260,000. And then we uh, divide by uh, the number of uh, units. Remember, we are, using, uh, uh, we are using units produced as basis. So we divide by 37,000. Again, we are not going to express it as a percentage. Uh, so if you divide, uh, you're going to see that the number that I'm, answer that I'm going to get is now 115, 115 runs. So this is what we have on 4.1.3. So 4.1.3, remember we are saying uh, on 4.1.3, we are saying calculate the overhead efficiency using budgeted units as basis. So we have used 37,000 as the units, budgeted units as our denominator, then 4,260,000 uh, is, is our numerator, which is, which is budgeted production overheads. So with that, we move on to uh, the next part, whereby uh, we are going to use prime cost as basis. Uh, the next part, which is 4.1.4, .4, uh, requires us to use a prime cost as basis. So we are saying prime cost is the one that is being used as basis on 4.1.4. .4. It means prime cost is going to be our denominator. So again, uh, our numerator remains the same. Uh, that is on this part. So uh, uh, if you check uh, on the calculation, it means we are going to check for prime cost. But we know that prime cost, we add direct materials and direct labor. So uh, on 4.1.5. So we are using prime cost as basis. But basically, we are saying our prime cost is equals to direct material cost plus direct uh, labor cost. So that is the formula of adding prime cost. So it means our, our prime cost is going to be the denominator by adding the two. So uh, with that, now we check in terms of the uh, uh, numerator, it remains at the budgeted production overheads, which we have as uh, 4,260,000. So it becomes our numerator. So we have four million two hundred sixty thousand. Then our denominator we check in terms of direct material 
costs and direct labor costs. So if you go back to the question, you'd see that direct material per unit, so we are given it is 152. Direct, uh, direct labor costs, sorry, is 152 uh, runs. Then direct material cost is 90 runs. So if you add the two, plus 90, you are going to get 242. 242 runs. So this becomes uh, the total. And then we uh, this is the total per unit. Total uh, prep cost per unit. Remember prep cost, we say this direct labor uh, plus direct material. So the total per unit is 242. Then you multiply by the number of units to get the total prep cost. That is going to be on the total later. So you're saying 242 times 37,000. So uh, for our denominator, uh, we are going to say uh, 242. Uh, 242 is our denominator. After we have added, uh, of course, uh, we did add the 152 plus 90. 152 uh, plus 90. So we are saying to get this, uh, we got it by saying 152 plus 90. So basically, that's what uh, is our denominator. Then we go to 242. So if you say 242 into 4,260, uh, we try to calculate it as such. Uh, 242 uh, is our, our per unit, so you multiply it by 37,000. Remember, we said uh, this is uh, the total uh, prime cost per unit. So if, it, if it's the total prime cost per unit, it means uh, we are now going to multiply it by 37,000 units that we have. So we multiply it by 37,000. So we calculate it like that. Uh, you're going to get it, uh, simplify it as 4,260,000. 4, and then we are saying over 242 times 37,000, uh, you're going to get your answer is 8,954,000. So that, uh, you see that uh, this one, uh, we are supposed to uh, express it as a percentage. So. Uh, in other words, we are saying uh, here we are supposed to multiply by 100 over 1. Uh, we multiply again by 100 over 1. So uh, we do that. We see that we are going to get your answer is 47.57650. And uh, to the nearest one number, we see that we have got a 5, which is going to change our 7. Uh, and it becomes uh, 48%. So basically, that's what we have on that part. Here's 4.1.4. So in terms of 4.1.5 now, um, uh, you say calculate the overhead application rate using direct material cost as basis. And direct material cost, we can see that uh, it's 90 runs. So we multiply 90 times 37,000. There's our denominator. So uh, basically, we are saying, uh, on this part, uh, we are saying, the numerator remains the same as 4,260,000. So we have 4,260,000. Uh, we divide it by uh, the pay unit is 90, but maybe 37. Uh, 90 times 37. Times 37,000. So this is what we have. And we see that if you calculate it, uh, obviously this is, you're supposed to express it as a percentage, which means you're going to multiply by 100 over 1. So as a percentage, it becomes 127.92%, uh, uh, which we can round off to the nearest one number to become 128%. So basically, that's uh, what we have on uh, 4 point, uh, four point one point five, which is the last question that we have according to this video. Thank you for listening, and hopefully the video was helpful. Uh, let's meet again in the next video.